Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I will show you how to create a wooden background in Adobe Illustrator. First, we will create a rectangle along the entire length of the workspace and the width will be your choice. Then we will color it in a brown color. You can use the color code I used. Then we will create two other narrower rectangles that will represent the light and shadow of the plank. The light will have a lighter shade than the plank and the shadow a darker shade. Then we will reduce their opacity as desired. The light will be placed at the top and the shadow at the bottom. Next we will create the specific wood texture. We will go to the paint brush tool and double click on it. We will select fidelity to smooth and press OK. Then we will select the desired thickness and we will start to create parallel lines and curves specific to the wood. After that we will select all the lines and change the width profile to the first one and the brush definition to basic. We will change the stroke to the value 8 and then we will select everything. We will group and we will go to the object and we will select expand appearance. Then we will select all the lines together with the rectangle below. We will go to the shape builder tool and we will delete the outer parts by pressing alt and left click. We will change their opacity to 20% and place both the light and the shadow of the board on top. We will right click on them, arrange and bring to front. Next we will create another plank in a similar way.
we will use the same light and shadow that we will group together with the rest of the elements forming the second plank. We will place, from top to bottom, one under the other and then we will create a copy of the two planks. We will place them under the other two and we will turn them by pressing right click, reflect and vertical. Then we will create copies of the four planks until we fill the entire workspace. Then we will resize them all to fit exactly. Next, we will create a rectangle the size of the workspace that we will place on top. Over this we will apply a radial gradient of two points so that the middle point is white and the outer one is a dark brown. You will find the color code next to the hash. Then we will change the transparency on the overlay and lower the opacity to 50%. Thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope you liked it. Don't forget to press the subscribe button. In this way I will know that you appreciate my work and I will continue to make interesting tutorials for you.